Hey guys, it's LeBurn98 here, and this is a Thanksgiving, around Thanksgiving video of NHL 12. This is a versus match, uh, my first versus match that I've shown you guys. Uh, that's a, against a stranger, or, or it's you know basically a ranked match. Uh, I do have other ones I will show, some good, some not so good. Uh, I might actually show them all. Of course, it'll uh, be a wait and see at the moment. Uh, anyway. Uh, the NHL season has started. Uh, Leafs are off to a decent start, although they kind of uh, imploded at the end of the third period against the Sens, but uh, held on, which is good. And nice to see Kessel get the hat trick. And uh, Dion Phaneuf was uh, looking actually quite good, uh, bringing that physical element that you know the Leafs and Brian Burke expected of Phaneuf when he brought him to Toronto from the Calgary trade. And uh, hopefully, uh, although I'm not holding my breath to be honest with you, hopefully they continue that and uh, going forward. Now, uh, the good news is that you know we're up to nothing in the series uh, in the season, and we're yet we're still missing MacArthur, who's finished his suspension against us. I think it was, I think he's done a suspension now. Uh, it was a two-game suspension. And then Connolly uh, should come back. And uh, we still have Franton, who uh, is uh, right now the seventh uh, D-man for the Leafs, sitting out. And uh, we have Nazem Kadri, who's also uh, injured. So he should be back at some point, which is great. It means that you have depth when you can uh, mention all those players and still have a decent or somewhat decent roster. And by the way, there's uh, Reimer. Uh, if you watched the last video where I said in NHL 12, EA has made Reimer a beast despite his rating of 84 overall. And uh, he has been a beast for me in my BAGM mode. And apparently he's a beast at fighting as he just took out Daniel Cleary. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Never seen Reimer fight. <laughs> but apparently uh, EA thinks he would be able to be not too bad at it. So uh, that's something cool. Uh, yeah, so overall I'm somewhat pleased with my Leafs had a good first game although they came out very flat and thank god that Reimer kept them in and again, again second second game against the Sens I do very strong periods and then kind of lost the or the wheel fell off a little bit in the third period allowing uh, the Sens to get five goals uh, but to be honest with you I'm actually kind of glad that did happen because I would rather have the Leafs have something to work on uh, and not get too cocky with a uh, blowout victory, then uh, see now they have something to work on. So uh, going into this uh, long one week break, uh, which is good. So uh, so we can avoid what happened last year with our quick 4 and 0 start and then end up losing, I think it was 7 or 8 in a row. Uh, it's pretty sad actually, but uh, you know, it does happen. Uh, anyway, so let's get on to NHL 12. Uh, I'm not going to really go too much in my thoughts again because I've already done that. There hasn't really been anything that's changed. I think the patches have actually improved it some. I haven't had any freezes, although, i be honest with you, I haven't tried the BA Pro mode yet. So I think I might try that again tonight to see how it goes, if I can get at least a week's worth of gameplay in it. Of course, I mean a week's as in a week in the schedule of the game. And uh, if I can do that, then I might actually restart my career and uh, uh, start it over for you guys so I can show you uh, from the beginning and hopefully to the end, uh, like I am with the NHL Slapshot. No, uh, for those who are interested in the NHL Slapshot videos, I haven't forgot. Uh, it's just that with, with the... <laughs> with the plethora of games that are coming out and, and uh, you know even this month there's Battlefield uh, 3 is going to be coming out at the end of the month and then of course we just had NHL 12 and even with all the Steam games that I bought uh, during the Steam sale uh, during, during the summer Steam sale I, I haven't even played a lot of them other than maybe I think it was Transformers uh, now luckily I bought Fallout 3 but I have played it on the Xbox 360 so I am familiar with that game. I, I don't have this urgency to play it, but it, I did buy it for a reason because I do want to play it again uh, on the PC. 
but yeah, there's lots of games coming out, and Uncharted 3, definitely getting that one as well, then uh, Modern Warfare 3, uh, gonna get that one, I'm, uh, I am a Call of Duty fan, not a fanboy or a fanatic necessarily, although I guess if you look at my playtime of 100 plus hours, you would think otherwise, but uh, there's definitely it's definitely a flawed series, and it's not the best series, but it tends to be the series I like for those quick get in and get out type matches. And we're on to the second period, and uh, as you can see, it's actually been a very good game. And as you, as you can also see, I've been cutting it uh, a few times during the periods just to shorten the video some. And there was a lot of penalties, and there's even some I. I edited out of the video a uh, very rough game <laughs> I think uh, apparently with the tuner the tuner updates that they had which is 1.02 I do believe uh, they made it easier or somewhat easier to uh, lift sticks and stuff like that uh, but now everyone's trying to do that which is resulting in a lot of penalties so uh, it's both good and bad so yeah going back to games uh, what else? I think that's... Oh yeah, Batman, Arkham City. Uh, and there's, I mean, there's a lot of games I, I, I'm not even really... I don't I don't know if I want to get. I mean, I want to get, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Not because of lack of money, just because of lack of playing time. I don't know if I'm going to get through all that. Uh, then, uh, on, the pl on the PlayStation Network, which is also available on the Xbox 360, uh, Xbox Live Marketplace was Crisis... The uh, original Crisis, which was a PC exclusive until just now. Uh, I am going to put a video up on that because I think Crytek did an absolutely phenomenal job with it. Uh, I never thought I would see the day where the game Crisis would be available on a console. And uh, the fact that Crytek has done uh, a really good job at porting the overall experience of Crisis to a console is a, a feat in itself and uh, they should be uh, commended on a job well done. So uh, yes, yeah, so I would like to put up a video of that. Apparently Booyak85 already beat that. Uh, I did beat it multiple times on the PC so that's probably why I don't have an urgency to beat it right now. Uh, but that's probably something I'm going to play either tonight or tomorrow. And uh, I do have some videos for it, but I just never uh, compiled a video uh, for you guys yet. Uh, I want to get more of the uh, later levels of the game because when you usually think of Crisis, it's always a jungle setting that people use. And uh, But I want to get more of the other areas of the game uh, to give people who haven't played Crisis uh, or haven't give Crisis enough playtime to reach those later levels uh, a look see at the uh, later levels so yeah anyway uh, about NHL <laughs> the real NHL uh, how do you think it's gonna work out this year do you think do you like the uh, uh, the way Shanahan's doing the uh, headshot uh, suspensions and all that Do you think it's good for the game do you think it's bad for the game I uh, would like to hear about that, hear you guys' opinions. Uh, in my opinion, honestly, uh, I like how there's overall consistency with Shanahan's rulings, uh, which is what you need when you're enforcing any kind of rule, let alone headshots. But at the same time, uh, I have to agree with MacArthur. It's not because he's a Leaf, uh, just because uh, I do agree with his point that if uh, you become too strict, at some point, you're just going to completely take hitting out of the game, which I would not want. I mean, hockey is a rough sport. Hitting is part of the sport. And if you start taking that away, it no longer no longer becomes a game that I've grown up to love, right? And uh, same with uh, fighting. You know, there's a lot of talk about fighting and what it has done, uh, mainly because of the recent deaths of uh, Wade Belak and uh, uh, Bugard and so on. They're trying to really pin that on fighting, and and uh, because the, the three guys that were uh, killed or or died or whatever uh, were enforcers in the NHL, and trying to correlate that between fighting. Uh, so I, I I would really hope that the NHL doesn't go along with this and and doesn't take out fighting and doesn't take out 
uh, the intensity of hockey, like the hitting and stuff like that, because then, then you basically become an all-star game. That's exactly what MacArthur said, and uh, I have to agree 100% on that. Uh, but overall, uh, so far I've been watching uh, a lot of games on my Game Center Live account. Uh, really enjoying it. Uh, it's kind of nice to see hockey back after uh, uh, what seems like an eternity after every uh, after it ends every playoff. Uh, cup final but uh, yes it is back and uh, it's nice to see the Leafs do somewhat decent although I'm not holding my breath I've seen this before and uh, yeah I mean <laughs> we'll wait and see uh, not not planning the parade as a lot of people would say uh, just yet I'm gonna do a wait and see and uh, but I do believe and here are my projected my predictions I do believe that the Leafs will make the playoffs they're obviously not going to be a cup contender anybody thinks otherwise is a complete fool uh, I think the biggest reason is Reimer is going to be a, a solid goaltender I'm not saying he's going to win the Vezina I'm not saying he's going to be the next Patrick Waugh but he's going to be a solid goaltender which is what you need in in uh, f to make the playoffs is, that's what you need is a solid goal goaltender uh, I do believe overall we have a good a good enough defensive uh, a core uh, we actually have an abundance right now of defensemen that we could package off for a forward, a top forward. Uh, it'd be, be interesting to see what Burke's going to do with that. Uh, but overall, I think uh, I do like the overall improvements of the team, especially with the uh, pickup of Steckel. A lot of people, they don't realize that face-offs are a big key in the game of hockey. Uh, but I think just these last two games, just to see Steckel, uh, to see the impact that he's had on this team just by simply winning face-offs would uh, uh, prove otherwise, right? Especially on the penalty kill. And there's, by the way, my second goal uh, in this versus match to tie the game up. Uh, Got to be honest with you, at this point of the game, I was getting somewhat nervous because if they get a goal, it's kind of like, uh oh, right. So uh, it was nice to <laughs> nice to actually tie it up. And uh, as you can see, a lot of the goals actually in this game were uh, pretty nice goals. I mean, yes, uh, you know, I think both of mine were uh, one timers or you know pass one time or whatever you want to call it type goals. But uh, there wasn't anything that was overly cheap. Uh, just a very f uh, hard fought <laughs> fought game, and uh, I did congratulate. Uh, the guy I played against uh, on a, a, a good game. Uh, but who knows what's going to happen at the end of the game. Yet. I haven't, I'm haven't. i not going to spoil nothing yet. We're going to wait and see. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, overall, I think my Leafs will make the playoffs. I think, uh, again, Reimer's going to be a big part of that. Uh, Dion Phaneuf looks like he's in his usual form. Uh, from the Calgary days as opposed to his early Leaf days, which is great. Uh, Kessel looks like he he's, uh, has a nice jump to uh, jump start to this year. Uh, hopefully he can, he can uh, sustain that. I think having Connolly and uh, surprise of uh, Lombardi, the fact that he's even playing right now is an is a amazing uh, uh, story as well. I think having those two guys uh, can keep Kessel going. And uh, hopefully they stay healthy, especially Connolly. Hopefully Connolly stays healthy uh, to provide that type of support. Uh, so yeah, overall pretty good. Uh, I haven't. I, I watched a few other games. Uh, Detroit looks to be pretty darn good. Uh, Pittsburgh looks decent. Of course, that's with out Crosby. I'm sure once Crosby comes back, they're gonna completely tear apart the league. Uh, I think they are the Cup favorite. I, I do believe NHL or EA uh, Sports uh, did their yearly uh, NHL s simulation. And by the way, I was robbed right there just before the game ends. But yeah, they did their NHL uh, simulation, and the Pittsburgh Penguins won the Cup. And uh, that's who I believe will also win the Cup. I think that's, they're like the, I wouldn't say a sure bet, but they're definitely up there. Uh, they're who I would put my money on right now to win the cup. Of course, who knows what's going to happen when it comes to injuries. Everyone thought the same thing last year. It was either going to be Vancouver or Pittsburgh. 
and uh, Pittsburgh got decimated with injuries, especially to not only Crosby, then Malkin as well. And uh, so who knows what will happen. And speaking about injuries, man, is uh, Montreal ever getting hammered with the injuries? They had, they just like signed Campoli. He got, he got injured. And what's funny about that one is that there was no hit on the play. He just like kind of, I guess he hit like a rut in the ice or whatever and it fell down. Kind of a freak little accident. And then today, Camilleri gets a, uh, a cut on his knee or thigh or something like that. I didn't really see the play. Uh, I just saw the uh, saw his bench kind of yelling to the referees to stop the game so they can go to the the dressing room or whatever to get that looked after. Uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, I think they're down to what three defensemen now, and uh, it's not looking good. I mean, especially when you got guys like Camilleri and, and of course they, Markov's always been out, and uh, yeah, it's not good for the Habs. But uh, hopefully they can pull through as well. And because uh, to be honest with you, yes, I am a Leafs fan, but I'm also a Canadian. I would love to see all seven teams, Canadian teams, in the playoffs. And because uh, it's great for our sport. And uh, it's nice to see that playoff hockey in Canada and hopefully have a cup in Canada uh, in the near future. So, yeah, anyway, right now we're in overtime. Uh, very tense game right now, and I sure as hell didn't want to go to uh, a shootout. So this is what I do right here. I end it with Lupo. Beautiful uh, little goal, I would say. And uh, I will show a close-up of it later because it shows the uh, end, end of highlights. And, uh, yeah, I didn't want to go in the shootout. I'm terrible at the goal goaltending because... Uh, uh, I find with the shootouts, everyone just tends to do the usual stock the pads kind of cheap crap. And uh, while yes, I could do that, I tend to not like using too many cheap things. Although I guess some people would consider these like one timers are cheap. It is part of the game. It is part of hockey. That's what people do. So uh, stacking the pads as a goaltender and a shootout is generally not the uh, <laughs> the main way to stop a puck. But uh, what can you do? It is a game. And, uh, yeah, so coming up, I believe, will be the Lupo goal. So until next time, this is LeBurn98 setting off. Uh, up next might be some crisis. We'll see about that. So anyway, take care, guys. See ya.